This is a quick video about homoscedasticity and heteroscedasticity. So both words have this scedasticity part at the end, which comes from a Greek word uh, referring to dispersion. And in particular, here we're thinking about how dispersed is Y for different subpopulations of X values, or in other words, more specifically, we're thinking about the conditional variance of Y given different possible values of X. Now in the first word, homoscedasticity, the homo part means same. So that's referring to when this conditional variance is the same across different x, well, across all x values. In contrast, hetero means different. So heteroscedasticity is when uh, this conditional variance differs across x values. Um, so it's important to be aware of this difference because sometimes there are theorems or methods that uh, are only valid under homoscedasticity, um, but we would prefer to have methods that are heteroscedasticity robust or robust to heteroscedasticity, meaning that they will still work regardless of whether we have homoscedasticity or heteroscedasticity. So as a concrete example, you can imagine we have a population of pets where our y variable is weight and our x variable is a dummy for being a cat. So if we think first about the cat subpopulation, so in other words, conditional on x equals 1, that means we're looking at the cat subpopulation. So this is the variance of weight among the cat subpopulation. And then we're interested in comparing that to the conditional variance of weight for the non-cat subpopulation. Now if you imagine the non-cats include all sorts of animals from birds to dogs to horses, which could be, you know, include very heavy animals as well as very light animals, um, the weights uh, in the non-cat subpopulation will be much more spread out from really big to really small, whereas cats are more similar to each other, so the variance will be smaller for the cat subpopulation. So the fact that these are different means in this case we have heteroscedasticity and not homoscedasticity.